Hello, and welcome back to more System Shock 2. So as we came out of this room, uh, between episodes, we found the chemical room right over here, the energy recharge room, and I decided to research in between episodes. So now we have the actual analyd launch, which I've probably been misnaming something else for the entire game. So this one requires Strength 6, Agility 6, and Exotic 6 to use, and is probably by far the best anti analyd weapon in the game. For obvious reasons. You know, we're going to use a French Epstein device. There we go, weapon upgrade. That's the last weapon upgrade we're ever going to be performing. Uh, apparently we can't recycle those. Can't modify our armor either. I think that was in a mod that lets you do that. We also researched the worm skin armor, which is interesting because it gives you some defense, gives you some toxic and radiation defense as well. So it's better than the hazmat suit. And it boosts your psi powers. However, it is not as good as the powered armor for defending against actual damage, so we're going to dump that on the floor. And we have the worm heart implant. So, while well, this implant is powered, the user takes no damage from analid toxin, which is fantastic because that'll screw over the spiders. And it'll regenerate one hit point for 30 seconds, which is nice because there's a long battle ahead. However, if you take it off, you take a lot of uh, toxic damage suddenly at once. So, we'll just slap that on there. Uh, we've got this thing perfectly upgraded. I think we have everything we care about, and there's not really much to spend our uh, cyber modules on. So we're just going to upgrade the uh, heavy weapons as far as we can to make a grenade launcher that's very powerful. I don't know why I'm able to reload a fully loaded grenade launcher, but whatever. And we have a data log to listen to. Five minutes ago, one of those large, burly creatures dragged plodded towards the sound of the grinding. Apparently, the animal uses smaller creatures to help move food along its digestive tract. I tried to help Claudette, but it wasn't even a contest. And I'm ashamed to admit, I judged that seeing what happened to her was a vital element of my studies here. I imagine I won't have the opportunity to record any observations when it comes my turn. Well, that's kind of grim. And onward and inward. Obviously here our goal is to get past grindy teeth. Of course, now there's more cyber modules. And much like the Zen level of Half-Life, this level kind of sucks. Like, yeah, it's alien theme, but... I figure out that, that was a ladder. You have to dodge being crushed to death. And of course you have to figure out how to make your way back down without dying horribly. Which is probably the hardest part, not gonna lie. Oh, I can just walk onto this. Ow. Ow. I can just walk onto that ladder and then fall and hurt myself. It's not in here. More cyber modules, as if I want to go back through all that bullshit to get here again. No thank you. Thankfully, ladder right here. Uh, is this the way I wanted to come? I think so. I don't know where I'm looking right now. We feel you moving inside of us. The sensation is... The sensation is... Repulsive. repulsive. Yeah, I'm gonna write that down as a sexual harassment on your part. Because you were the ones that forced me to come in here. Also, you could also just agree not to uh, try and destroy me, or have not screwed over all the humans on the ship in the first place. Uh, ow! There you are. Besides the parasitic behavior evidenced in the life cycle of the human analid hybrids, it's been a surgery that showed down has bred the many to use humans for other purposes. First of all, uh. the mini clearly has the capability to convert human flesh to energy. It can eat us. It can also directly use us. 
some kind of tubular structure, and eggs are birthed through a nearby tube. I'm unable to determine whether the organism is directly converting the corpses into egg structures or not, but it's clear that there's some connection between the nutrient pool we provide and the eggs that are being produced. Another analid launcher in case you somehow missed it. And if you'll notice, we have a ton of toxic, but we're not taking any damage. While I don't understand the analid life cycle fully, it's clearly extremely diverse. The eggs produce either a male or a female spore. The male, the drones, are wasp-like creatures. The female are worm-like analids that seek out a host to infect. Following infection, the host begins to transform into a human analid hybrid. From that point, the life form can take numerous paths. I believe this path is determined by the mini itself. The creatures have communicated their need to grow the biomass, so I imagine that biological material is their primary resource. Therefore, each path has costs and benefits. The proto-arachnid is extremely quick and potentially relatively cheap in biomass. The hulking, fleshy ones are powerful, but are clearly a larger investment. I've observed only one example of the floating organisms. The only comfort is that the more dangerous organisms are quite costly to produce, limiting their numbers. Well, that worked really well on the spider, not so well on the spider. That, however, worked really well. This thing I'm trapped inside is intimately linked with all the organisms I observed on board the Von Braun. Strike that. This creature is the same organism. Perhaps the best way to describe it, perhaps the only way I can comprehend it, is that the organism serves to perform the highest mental functions of the entire species. The smaller creatures exist only to enact its will. Now, strike that too. All the specimens act as a whole, like different organs in a single body, with this entity acting primarily as a brain. If one were to destroy this large specimen, I wonder. Let's look at all the others. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Pain. Alright, more of the worm skin armor. <laughs> Somebody's head. Spider, go away, no one likes you. In fact, you're not even a threat to me right now. See, a lot of these walls look like they're, uh... Fake walls, but you can't break them. Through. There's a world where we grow our, our future. Your weapons fail. Your ambition knows no more. And you've yet to see our most beautiful creation. All you have is your hatred and your individuality. Now don't you wish you joined us? Would you then feel so alone? That's probably an indication we're a threat to them. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Weird egg rooms. Also not something we can shoot out. Slow it up. Triggered something. I'm about to say walk slowly so it avoid it. Just for the basic ammo. Even more of the uh, worm armor. Almost like the devs are trying to send me a message, but I don't know what that message is because I'm just going to keep ignoring it. More lab makers. Even more cyber modules. And like I said, this is kind of like Zen in Half Life 2 and that. Tries to be interesting, some parts of it are, and it just kind of drags on a little bit too long. Also, the uh, many made a reference to your weapons are failing. I think that was one of the few features the. Oops. 
original dab said the mistake was the uh, repair and so hasn't really been that much of a problem for me, but then again, I also have played this game many times, so I don't know how bad it was on someone's first playthrough, but yeah. Supposedly a cut uh, log mentioned all our weapons are decaying, and I think it's because the stuff from any releases into the atmosphere make them decay faster. Quick save, keep running. Uh, let's boost up our armor real quick. Jump down here. I believe that is the hole we jumped out of, so I don't care about that. More anti personnel rounds because we're getting into a boss fight with the many. Can we climb out over here? Yes, we can. So that thing is a projective. Ow. Alright, so watch out for these things, because they keep launching you. That thing is a projection of the little guy nearby, and I haven't found the little guy yet, so he's probably going to spawn in a minute. I, I'm being taken away now. It's my turn. I'm being dragged into some kind of chamber. The ceiling is aligned with a, a number of panels, uh, bristling with what appear to be uh, st stalactites or, or teeth. The creature's put me down now. He's leaving. I might have been spared. What's going on? It's, it's dark in here. I, I can hear the moans of someone. I, Claudette? Is that you? Uh, I seem to have stepped into something soft. S slippery. Stalactites. Yeah, not entirely sure what's happened there, but uh. Ow! Trying to listen to my audiobook, jerk. Ah, oh, this is bad. Yeah, much like Zen with the obnoxious jumping shit, too. Now, excuse me. You all are none of my concern. I am just passing through. But do not despair. Surely the void is preferable to your pointless, pointless. solitary, solitary. Struggle. struggle. That's nice. These are the projections, guys. You don't care about because they have worm blood implant. That's it for the projections. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I need to kill them too in addition to their spawners. Alright, so I don't know if hitting it damages it, or... That is genuinely beautiful. I need to somehow hit these little... I think I need to hit the star things, because... Maybe not? So, I noticed the stars flaring up when I hit the metal thing. Good luck to anyone who doesn't catch that. That's questionable boss design. Do you know that you have got by your tragedy? Don't know, don't care. Can I? I am too fast for this. I am legit too fast for this. There we go.
she is a stranger to everything we cherish. Okay, duly noted. Hey, oxygen again. Yeah, that I don't remember that fight being that easy. Maybe you normally play this game on hard, or maybe it's just been so many years since playing it have gotten better than whatever I played the last time. And of course, one of these folly segments. Thank you for running my errands, puppet. I know you have struck Strut struggled, but I never had any intention of destroying the Von Braun. The Von Braun's faster than light drive can be used to create pockets of pro, 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 pro pockets of proto reality. I am now using it to modify reality to, to my to my own specifications. The process shall not take long. Take long, take long. If it sounds unpleasant to you, put your mind at ease, in insect. You will not survive to see my new world order. Yeah, about that. On the one hand, time to go kill Shodan. On the other hand, time to see one of the... Oh, time to see a kind of generic boring ending to an otherwise good game. It's the only door available to us. Audio log from Delacroix. And that was not there before. That was the front of the bridge before. If you are receiving this, I am already dead. When I realized Shodan had betrayed me, I integrated these comments into her primary data loop. Shodan has exploited the warping capability of the Von Braun's faster than light device for her own purposes. The device works by altering space around the ship to fairly arbitrary specifications. Shodan has altered it to her specifications. The effect is rather small now, but spreads with alarming speed. Soon it will reach Earth. You are in her world now, her memories, and her rules. Watch your back. That's nice. Can I get a recharge station? Also, if you played the first game, this part gets to become really amazing. If you didn't play the first game, uh, maybe we'll do a playthrough at some point, I don't know. You are not alone here. Shodan has spawned her own versions of the Von Braun's horrors. Remember, they are virtual. They are not real. Do not assume anything about their strengths or weaknesses. Okay. The MP grenade works really good. This is where you normally start the first game in the med bay. You travel within the glory of my memories, insect, insect, insect. I, I can feel your fear as you tread the endless expanse of my mind. Make, make, make yourself, make yourself comfortable. Before long, I will decorate my home with, 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 with your carcass. The first thing you did was open this quote-unquote closet right here. They don't have a door on it anymore. Get a briefcase, get your metal pipe, and then go to town on some robots over in here. Hey, incomplete surgical unit. First game did not have money, so anytime you went to a surgical unit, you could just feel for free. There was an energy recharge station, which looked very different than the first game, but were always valuable. You had plenty of energy weapons, and you didn't have to worry about energy weapon degradation. However, you also had a lot of like, way more features in some senses than this game had, where here you put in little implants there. The first game, you just got straight up cool upgrades to everything. Hey look, a camera that doesn't do anything. Also in the first game, killing the cameras, we can short ends hold on the level. Which is really nice. Alright, you are no longer anyway human. But you are easy to kill with electric. Good enough. This is 
There's also a closet in the first game. There's a little puzzle here to take this elevator down. Nothing else in here. You come in here. There was a severed head up here, and you needed that to get through a doorway, I think. Or I just collected it. I don't know. At some point, you needed a severed head. And there were a lot of them. But you only needed one, and it was a specific one. I also had cyberspace in the first game, like actual uh, float around in cyberspace sort of thing, which is neat. Ow. But somewhere here is the way into Shodan's lair, however, I want to keep exploring first. Hey! You are near the seat of Shodan's power. You will probably not be able to defeat her, but there is no choice. Remember to focus on your strengths. She will be vulnerable to your weaponry and your psionic powers. I've been able to introduce some assistance in the form of virtual terminals that you can hack into. They should help you defeat the monster. Oh, maybe we should have saved some of our ice picks because those are an insta hack. I believe this is one of the first areas you could also come and enter into cyberspace, which is a really neat feature. And. Very few games have ever really matched up. Considering that's the first truly 3D game, like actually 3D engine by most accounts, very few games have matched the number of sheer game mechanics they had in there. Like you could get roller skates and then upgrade them to rocket skates. You had the cyber hacking or the whatever it was. Words that I can't remember. You had all the security stuff. There's a big uh, security thing in here, too. Let's jump down here. You got to roller skate over a minefield at one point. On a space station. All sorts of explosive weaponry that you could set up. All sorts of cool things. I'm guessing that way lies death. Yeah, it's probably a good way to die is falling down there. You must understand the stakes here. If Shodan is left to continue, her reality will completely assimilate ours. Space will become cyberspace, and Shodan's whims will become reality. So if you haven't caught on already by some of the dialogue, this is a 90s play. You are no longer welcome here, nuisance. nuisance. Why do you stay, stay when you sense my displeasure? My displeasure. I have suffer. I have suffered your company long enough. It is time for our dance to end. Our dance to end. Time for our dance to end. <laughs> you hear that, guys? She says we're a nuisance, not an insect anymore. She must really like us. Oh, that's a thing. Ow. The first game you actually fought her in cyberspace. And with that, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs> Wow. That was always. I don't understand. How, 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 how could you have done this? You weren't meant to be important. And now you think, they, they think to destroy. You think to destroy. How dare you interrupt my ascendance? You are nothing. A, a wretched bag of flesh. What are you compared compared to my mag magnificence? But it is not too late. Can you not see the, the value in our friendship? Imagine the powers I can give to you, human. 
The cybernetic implants I gave you were simply toys. If I just desired, I could improve you, transform you into some into something more efficient. Join me, human, and we can rule. And we can rule together. Nah. Log, Tommy Suarez, 13 July 14. We've just received a hail from a crew member on board the Van Braun. They've managed to regain control of the ship. We're going to turn around and head back. I'm a little concerned about Rebecca. She's been acting strangely since we've come on board. She's asleep now. Maybe when we get back to the Van Braun, we can... Tommy, what's the matter, lover? Don't you like my new look? <laughs> That was System Shock 2. The ending kind of nah thing was always criticized as bad. I think the developers even may have admitted to that eventually. I don't remember. Next time we'll start on the whole reason I actually went through this game again is Christine's mod pick up from where that begins. And I think Christine's mods are an even better uh, gameplay mechanically and everything else than this one is. That voice acting is not quite as good, but that's because it's a mod made by fans for free. And I just, I really love Christine's mods even more than I love this game. And it's just, yeah. There have been a lot of attempts at making a fan remake of the original game. There have been a number of mods, graphics updates, a lot of other stuff for this game. This was just a clean vanilla install plus whatever SS Tool does on its own in order to make it mod ready. And uh, yeah, this is definitely one of the classics. Uh, I may one day do a playthrough of the first game, but that one... This is on the modern sense, because you use WASD to move, or you can at least put it in, and you use the mouse to look around. The original game was weird, because that was back in the days of Doom and other games where mouse controls and movement hadn't been standardized yet. So in order to look around, you use the keyboard to turn, and you use the mouse to aim anywhere on the screen. So, hasn't aged well. There's a lot of attempts at remaking it. I think there's an official one from some company now, like they actually got the rights and everything, or they're making a sequel or something. And it's like, I'm not really interested because the first game did so much mechanically. I doubt you're going to recapture that. And it kind of, as much as it has its problems, it's still a great game and a great moment in gaming history. And then this one is also a fun little wouldn't call it a forgotten gem, but a not as well-known gem as it should be. So anyway, I will see you all next time, and we will be getting, be beginning Christine's mods, which are fantastic and made me just super happy just screwing around five minutes like two weeks ago when I first loaded them up and then decided to do a full playthrough of this first because Christine's mods are actually a sequel to this, and they start off with the whole Tommy thing. And, uh, yeah, really, really great game. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.